What's going on sneaker fiends? So today we got a couple of early unboxings for y'all. It's gonna be a little short video, just showing you guys a little review of each shoe. So let's get started with the first one. So the first one we got is the Ultra Boost Naked. Um, as you guys can see though, there is the W on the box, which usually means that it's women's, but if you guys see the little dude right there, it actually is men sizing. Uh, the women logo or the W is there because Naked is a women's brand. Um, so they actually made this like a unisex shoe. So kind of like uh, the Flying It Racers, um, like that, how it's, how it's unisex for women and men. So let's get into the shoe. Boom. Man, that color though. It's not a Tiffany, it's more of like a, a mint, um, it's definitely not, it's definitely a lot lighter than a Tiffany, um, but it is so fresh, so fresh and so clean. It is a consortium release, so you know, it's got the tongue, the tongue hole there. It's an exact thing. It comes with an extra set of white laces, and there's anything special on these? No, just white lace. And then um, the insole has the uh, consortium print there. It's a leather insole, pretty dope. On the inside, it's got the uh, Shaking Hands logo there. So that's pretty sick. This I have it. Yeah, this I has it as well. Um, the left side says naked. That's pretty sick. This one just has the Adidas logo on top. Overall, it's just a clean shoe. I tried them on, and this is a 12, and then that's what I usually wear. And it was pretty hard to get into the shoe. I haven't tried the 3.0s on, so they fit a little different in my opinion. It's definitely a little uh a little more narrow than the 2.0s. Um, the comfort's still there, just the top is really thin. Let's see if I can show you guys what I mean here, but like, this is just like, uh, definitely a lot thinner, a lot more stretchier um, than the 2.0s. Like when you put your foot in it, like you're just seeing toes basically. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it, but they fit good. I'm just more of a fan of the 2.0s still. We'll see how the other ones are. Maybe I gotta try like a basic color on or something, but they feel good. Um, just a little hard getting into them. So if you can, I would go half the size up, maybe. Um, but I wear 12 and 12 and a half, so they're impossible to find. So got that sole right there. And uh, before I end with this shoe, I'll show you guys a little quick overview right now What do you guys think? You guys gonna cop, drop? Let me know down below. Let me know what you guys think. My opinion, they're fire. Gonna need these ones. So let's check out the next shoe that we got. So we got a Reebok. Let's see you guys see the tag there. Question mid bape. Let's see what these are all about. I was actually looking forward to these. Because questions are dope. It's a classic shoe. And with the Bape collab, it's gotta be sick. So, boom. 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 They did not disappoint with this one. This one came out so sick. Check it out, man. Look at that Bape print. All around. 
on the shoe with the olive toe. It's like a suede too, it's pretty sick. The olive hex. Reebok logo on the back. And then both sides have the star logo, which is sick. The other thing I noticed on this one too is on the uh, lace holes here it has the star logo and it has B A P E on there for Babe. Overall, they're dope. The laces has the uh, I can't really see, but laces say Babe on the lace tips as well. I think the insole also has the fake branding. Let's see, Let's see if you guys can see in there. It has the Bape logo. Reebok Classic Mita sneakers. So yeah, overall dope. Uh, it has the olive sole. I mean, it's a dope shoe, dope concept. But I'm not gonna lie, the quality is, it's Reebok quality. And Reebok quality isn't the greatest, I mean, it's as good as it's going to get for Reebok. It's still a dope shoe. I would definitely cop. Um, the prices are kind of all over the place right now. And I'm not sure when the release date is on these. I think some stores already released them, but it's not like official till this weekend, possibly. I think this weekend they are actually coming out. I don't know. We got some in already. Um, oh yeah, and then the last, the Ultra Boost, we already have them in stock as well. If you check our website and store, we already have them. Um, these ones we don't have any yet uh, for sale at least. So let me give you guys a little overview of this shoe real quick for uh, in this video right now. guys that was just a little quick unboxing for you guys um, we'll have more videos for you guys soon uh, if you guys do want the ultra boost we do have them in store and online now go check them out go cop we don't have any of the Iversons again um, we might get some soon this was meant to be an early unboxing video uh, we've had both of them for a while I kind of lagged on doing the video this whole like holiday hour thing has us messed up haven't really had time to film but they do release, I think the Ultra Boosts are tomorrow and the Babes possibly this weekend. So you guys will see it basically today when it's supposed to be released. But I filmed yesterday, which is today. If you guys get what I'm saying. So it is a early, but not early when you guys are going to see it. So see you guys soon. Sneaker Fiends till the next time. If I don't see you guys before then, happy holidays. Have a safe one. Peace, y'all.